Hey guys, we're out early this morning and um, we're making our way into the area we're uh, going to photograph today, uh, hoping to find some wildlife. Um, and we came across a great horned owl. It's still really early and uh, he's just kind of sitting in the edge of a tree, uh, silhouetted. So the uh, tree and the owl are completely dark, but uh, it makes for a nice silhouette. A little bit of color coming up in the sky uh, from the sunrise, so uh, we're going to sit here with him for a few minutes and see if he, um, if we can get any nice color in the sky behind him. But I don't think he'll s sit there long enough. But hopefully he will. But today we're just kind of out and uh, out and about and see if we can find something to photograph. Um, hopefully we can find some more owls, which would be nice. It looks like he's uh, maybe wanting to fly. He's kind of bobbing his head up and down right now, and like he's he's seen something. But uh, it'd be nice if he'll sit there for the sunrise. Maybe we can actually get some detailed images. I'm just getting in here and already got an owl, so it looks like it'll be a good day. We'll see what else we can find. <laughs> So there's been a lot of bird activity this morning. We've seen a ton of snow geese and tundra swan, but they've um, when they get up off the lake, they uh, they left the area uh, to search for greener pastures, I guess. Uh, it's a little mild this morning, and I say mild. It's it's cool. It's in the 30s, but it's not extremely cold. So when they when it's not this cold, they'll they'll leave. Uh, once they leave the lake, they'll fly a little bit further to look for food. But we're um, we're looking directly into the sun at the moment, uh, watching six sandhill cranes, and uh, which is kind of neat for Eastern North Carolina. We we don't get very many sandhill cranes, uh, but every winter um, over the last three to five years, we've had at least two or three sandhill cranes um, that migrate through and spend the winter um, hanging out with the swans. But um, this winter, we've actually got six. And so they're out there preening right now. Um, nice silhouette shots. Sun rises directly behind them. So um, with a little bit of atmosphere fog, making for some nice dramatic portraits. So been photographing them, just kind of watching them, uh, waiting for 
all of their heads to be up at once uh, or at least one so you can tell what they are instead of black blobs but uh, it's pretty neat uh, nice silhouette moody um, images of the sandhill cranes um, I love the little bit of fog that's kind of drifting through so we're just hanging out here watching them and uh, we're gonna search for something in the woods here in the next little bit uh, but right now we're just kind of taking it slow this morning and seeing what all we can see but um, it's been good so far I really like this all right let me put this camera away so I can get some images that are starting to rearrange in a little better shot so I'll show you what else we find so we just drove around to the opposite side of the little impoundment that they're in this morning it shows you how important the direction of light is you can actually see detail nice side lighting uh, from these uh, cranes um, makes for beautiful got beautiful light on them this morning standing out there with the swans makes for great video and great photographs um, so light is very very important so always keep that in mind and if you can you move all the way around your subject you know explore the different lighting situations and see what works best so right now this nice side lighting from the east is beautiful Well, the fog is slowly starting to burn off, um, so we're gonna make our way back out to uh, the edge of the field, which ironically enough, looks like there's still a lot of fog. But we're gonna, um, we're kind of walking around the woods looking for owls um, or anything really. You can hear the swans flying over. Um, but yeah, we're gonna walk back out towards the field and uh, check and see if there's anything out there. Uh, we're just looking for I was really hoping for an owl in here today. Um, we're getting to the time of the year where they're starting to prepare for uh, nests. Um, they should be nesting now uh, or getting ready to start nesting. And uh, I was hoping we could discover some in here this morning, but I uh, hadn't found anything yet. So we're, we're looking for uh, great horned owls, barred owls, uh, and even screech owls. Uh, I know they're in this area. I've seen them before and I hear them all the time. So uh, we'll keep looking and uh, see what else we can find. But uh, it's a great morning so far. Not a lot of photos to show for it, but it's a good morning out, which is, it's worth it. Definitely worth it, so. All right, let's see what else we can find. We uh, took a little walk this morning to try to find uh, some wildlife of some sort. I uh, hadn't seen anything. I checked a, a tree that I had previously seen a screech owl in, but couldn't find him. So he must be uh, asleep this morning. But uh, yeah, the fog's moved in kind of thick, so can't really see past uh, 100 yards. Hopefully it'll move through and uh, we can find some wildlife. So I'll uh, keep you posted and I'll check back with you as soon as I find something. Well, we're sitting here waiting for the fog to lift. We've got a couple thousand snow geese right in front of us that we can't see. And then all of a sudden they all blast off and fly right over our heads, which was pretty crazy. That was pretty neat. Um, didn't get a single photo cause you can't see them. It's too foggy, but uh, it's been kind of cool this morning. Um, I wish we could have seen seen them uh, but it's uh it's been overall a good morning out seen a lot of uh unique species great horned owl uh sandhill crane um a few bear and a ton of birds uh as in geese and swans so all in all it's been a really good morning we're gonna now 
uh, head back to the truck because all of our subjects left. So we're going to see what else we can come up with and um, I'll let you know what we find. Right, just had a, a small family of otters uh, in this canal. Tyler and I were riding around before we head out for lunch and um, passed a, a small family of otters and one of them had a uh, snake in its mouth. So I got some cool pictures of him chewing on the snake and then I uh, got some really uh, neat video of them up on the bank. Um, talking and uh, kind of loving on one another which is kind of neat really neat behavior for otters uh, very rarely do they let me uh, spend any time around them and uh, photograph them most of the time as soon as they see a person they leave uh, pretty quickly but they uh, they actually stayed right in the middle of the canal or right across the canal from me let me sit right here and photograph them it was a really neat encounter so we're gonna ride around and see if we can come across them again or another small family of them and let's see if we can find some more. That was pretty neat. But the day keeps getting better and better. Just found the owl. Alright. It's a red faced screech owl. They're my favorite. Try to get my tripod set up real quick. So, just as soon as we moved in, the clouds went over the sun, so it's really, really overcast in here, which is, which is good um, somewhat because the light's really even. But it's also bad because I'm shooting at a really slow shutter speed and with the really bright backlit situation I'm having to overexpose by two stops so I'm at uh, aperture about 7, 7.1, uh, ISO 800, 250th of a second which is two stops overexposed and that's letting in um, all the uh, shadowed area of the tree and the owl. Uh, losing a little bit on the sky but that's okay because it's a white bank anyway from all the overcast clouds. But uh, we did have a few minutes of um, some sunlight in there, so I got some nice sun on his, on his face and a little catch light in the eye. But that was about it. Um, and then the, the clouds moved in, so here. Over here, I'll show you. This is what he looks like. So that's him right there. Little bitty thing. So we're gonna sit here and uh, photograph him 
just for a few minutes. I don't want to be here too long because if we stay here too long, we'll end up spooking him and we don't want him to flush from his nesting cavity. Uh, it's very important uh, that you don't flush uh, any owls from their nesting cavities um, due to because this is uh, could be an area that he frequents uh, and feeds a lot in. So if you if you spook them too much, they'll leave and potentially it could do more harm than good. So what we're going to do is we're going to photograph for maybe about five or ten minutes, um, maybe just about five minutes, and then we're going to move out and leave him alone. But uh, it's a pretty little owl. It's, this is great. I love screech owls. They're my absolute favorite uh, of all the owls that we have here in North Carolina. Um, and this is only like the third one I've ever photographed in a tree cavity, which is really awesome. So we're going to try to get some good pictures of him, then we're going to move out. Alright guys, we're wrapping it up today. It's been a hell of a day. We've started out in the fog with the sandhill cranes, uh, moved on to the geese in the fog, and then otters. We spent all day photographing otters. It's been phenomenal. And then to end the day with a screech owl has just been fantastic. Um, not the best uh, portfolio worthy photographs, but you know, it, it, that doesn't matter. It's all about the experience and we have had a heck of a time today. Thoroughly enjoyed it and can't wait to come back. So thanks for watching. Hope you tune in next time. See ya.